Let's look at the features of the Block API application that we are going to develop. In that way, you can decide if this course is the right course for you. All right, let's get started. We are going to focus on users, posts, and comments. The first feature of the application is a user can register and log in. Also, we will implement what is called who view my profile. If you go to your dashboard, you'll be able to see all the users who has viewed your profile, but not the only view count, but also you'll be able to see who the actual person is with some information about his name and some other details. Also, we will implement what is called user following and unfollowing each other and a user can block another user. For this, let's say user A want to block user B. In this case, user A will not be able to see user B's post. All right, the next step is a user can unblock another user. So as soon as a user unblock another user, that user will be able to see all the posts from the unblocked user. And also, an admin can block another user based on conditions. Condition number one is that if a particular user always posts some profane words, the admin can block that user and admin can unblock the user. And also, the system or the application can block the user based on condition. And the condition is that if the user is not being active for the past 30 days, the system will block the user. The next one is you also implement what is called following and unfollowing count. And you also implement last date a user created a post and check if a user is active or not. And last date a user was active and a user account can be upgraded also based on the number of posts a user will create. Also, a user can close his account and as soon as a user closes his account, the system is going to delete all the posts, comments associated to that particular user. And on the post, a user can like and also a user can dislike a post and you also implement days ago a post was created, for example, two days ago or yesterday or 30 days ago. And also we implement post view count, meaning that how many views a particular post will have and likes count of a post and dislikes count and post likes and dislikes in percentages. All right, so these are the features that we are going to develop for this particular project. All right, so that is it for now. Catch you up in the next video.